Hey guys, this is Sergeant Phoenix back in the action, and today I've just finished, literally an hour ago, watching the new Avengers Endgame. There's literally only one word to describe that film, in my opinion. Perfect. Characters were perfect. The story was the story it worked with everything like Marvel always does. Marvel always keeps it to the plot. They kept it perfectly done. And the start and everything. I, every, I can't describe specific things to say what was perfect. It was all perfect. Characters, costumes, storyline, everything. Honestly, I, you know, best way. And I've actually. Because I've just finished, like I said, I just finished it an hour ago. And I literally burst into tears at certain points. And to do and for a film to literally do that to me, being a Marvels fan, I don't normally cry at a Marvels at any film, never alone a Marvels film. Being a huge Marvels fan, an Iron Man fan, thank you very much. Yo, know, Iron Man was you know, he's my favourite one. Now until the very end. Practically any practically I felt he was the very first Avengers film that came out for Marvel when they made their own films. Then we got Cap then we had our Captain America, our Thor. Yeah, I'm not going in order here. For Hulk. Your Thor, Hulk, Captain America. Then we had Avengers. Yeah, you know, and we have and we got everyone together. And that first ever Mar Avengers film. That is that is one of the things we'll always remember. But for me, the first ever Iron Man is the very is the only thing I'm gonna is the First thing I'll ever remember when coming to Marvel. Because I remember first hearing about Iron Man when I was a kid. You know, and I read his, and I read about him. I learned about him. It was just amazing. Practically a man who knows so much and can cr do anything if he puts his heart into it. You know, in Captain America, someone who had no strength. Showed, showed you don't need it strength of muscles to be a hero but all, but a strength of heart Thor you know Thor was a god who you practically you learned uh, to act more compassionate than ruthlessness because that's what he was at the beginning arrogant reckless and dangerous you're know, just killing without mercy pretty much you're know, just like I'm practically like a pra angry child lashing out of the world you know, and then when he went to earth yeah, we have finally learned to actually have mercy on it, something, even on his worst enemies, even the ones he could kill with his bare hands. And you know, Hulk. You know, Hulk. Hulk is you know practically same old Hulk. You know, smash, 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 and then you smash, 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 and then you've got Bruce Banner, who's the Brainiac. But Endgame, there's actually a nice little thing that happens with them. That's what I'm gonna say. A great thing that happens between with the Hulk, you know, we see Hulk again, don't worry. But what happens is actually quite good. Not it, but you know, when Avengers came out, it was great. You know, Age of Ultron was a bit better though than that. But that's what Marvel, that's what a film is supposed to do when they make new ones, thrive them, to make them greater than they've ever been than the last. But to me, the first Iron Man will always be best, will always be the best, even to the Avengers. But now it's now it's literally between uh, the first Iron Man film and then an Avengers Endgame. You want to see all of your favorite... See, you know, I'm a Marvel fan, but seeing Iron Man's my favorite thing. But to see all the characters come together to create one perfect storyline against a shared mission to help and protect people, that's what makes a movie a great movie. And, uh, you know, literally there's no way to describe the movie. It was perfect. That's how I can say it. If a film can burst me into tears, it's a perfect film. Be, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not good at express, expressing my emotions very well. Expressing, sorry. Expressing my emotions. Expressing emotions very well, so, you know, it literally, it literally looks like I'm a blank piece of paper. But for a film to actually get me like this, even to smile... To even cry, literally cry. Perfect is the best way I can describe it for me, as the you know, as a per 
you know, as who I am. So, best thing I can tell you, if you are near a cinema, if you're 100 miles from a cinema, doesn't matter where you are from a cinema, if you've got a little bit of money to get a ticket, go to, go to that cinema and watch Endgame if you are a Marvels fan. If you've not already seen it, get there as fast as you can. Make sure you know what times are on so you're there on time. And, in, and those three hours will be worth it for a Marvel fan. And they were for me. So comment down below, because I know some of you have watched Endgame already. My friends have already, wa already watched it. Thank God they didn't spoil anything, because I told them I would have not... I would literally have knocked them out if they told me. Like, you know, we all say if you don't want you a film to be spoiled for you. Yeah, you know, of course you say something. You know, of course, there's other things you say about you know the most common phrase for some for, for most teenagers like us uh, knock you out. So again, watch it as fast as you can. Second, it goes on DVD. I am getting it, even if it costs me a hundred quid. So until then, this is Sergeant Phoenix. Over and out.